case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In Denison v. Marlowe, a 1987 lawsuit heard by the Supreme Court of New Mexico, Steve and Patty Marlowe found themselves battling against their landlord, Eva Denison, over responsibility for safety improvements in their two-story building, known as the Great American Saloon. After receiving a cease and desist order from the state fire marshal due to safety code violations, the Marlows requested Denison to comply with safety regulations by installing a sprinkler system and fire escapes. Although the tenants made additional repairs towards compliance at a cost of $2,200, Denison refused to pay for the installation of the sprinkler system. As a result of Denison's refusal, the Marlows were evicted from the second floor, and their seating capacity was reduced. They continued to pay rent for the first floor until July 1985, after which they paid no rent through the trial date. Consequently, the trial court ordered the lease agreement terminated and the premises returned to Denison, and the tenants filed a counterclaim seeking damages for safety code violations and lost income. The Supreme Court of New Mexico ultimately ruled that the Marlows were responsible for complying with applicable laws, but not for improvements ordered by the state fire marshal. They decided that Denison was responsible for maintaining or repairing the premises, and that the Marlows were wrongfully evicted from the second floor due to Denison's failure to install a required sprinkler system. As a result, the court reinstated the Marlowe's counterclaim for damages and remanded the case to determine the rent owed by the tenants for the diminished facilities, as well as whether the Marlowe's alleged damages were contemplated by both parties and could be ascertained with a reasonable degree of certainty. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.